Hello and welcome to this special edition of ADSB News. Why is it special? Because you are special. This is the final week of National Principals Month and our last chance to celebrate how special you are. But don't worry, it doesn't mean we won't be taking the foot off the gas and sharing with the world the incredible work you do every day and every minute for kids. You are truly inspiring. So inspiring I thought I'd bust out this tux in your honor. So inspiring that I thought we would toast you and your amazing leadership. Speaking of inspiring, it has been so powerful to watch and listen to you all interacting with each other in the various networks we've got running throughout the state. You are truly helping each other navigate these incredibly challenging times. By simply gathering together in a virtual space, whether for 15 minutes or an hour, you can learn so much from each other. Doing this work alone is unbearable. Networking is the key to your success. With that in mind, we're launching Net Networking November. We'll focus on three big topics in our networks. One, managing student behavior under the current discipline laws. Everyone was reporting a huge uptick in irregular student behavior. Come learn about some of the strategies your colleagues are using in response. Two, finding clarity in COVID protocols. There is still a ton of confusion about contact tracing, quarantining, testing, and social distancing. Come here while others are tackling COVID. And three, creative solutions to tackling staffing shortages. Fail to fill is your new morning alarm clock. Come here while your colleagues are addressing daily staffing shortages. We'll be posting dates on our website, social media, and Principal Matters, or you can view and register for them in our learning management system. We continue to offer all of our other super relevant and timely professional learning. Are you an assistant principal wanting content design just for you? We've got it. Here's a little blurb from associate Jack Arend. Hey everybody, Jack Arend here with AWSP. Hey, assistant principals, deans of students and interns, we've been thinking a lot about you and we've designed a professional learning workshop just for you. Level Up Your Leadership is going to have two internationally famous keynote speakers, Todd Whitaker, Borute Kefele, and others. Head to our website right now and sign up for Level Up Your Leadership. We can't wait to see you. Thanks, Jack. He and the rest of the AWSP Pro Learning team are also launching a How to Become a Culturally Competent Leader Now series. In school districts across the country, students are urgently calling for culturally relevant resources, culturally responsive pedagogy, increased access to, to advanced classes, greater overall opportunities, and intolerance of the status quo exclusionary practices. As an educational leader, what will you do? Join AWSP for this dynamic, engaging four-part series with a special opening keynote by author Vernita Mayfield, only 40 seats are available for this, so register today. There's still time to register for AWSL's Fall Conference, which will emanate from Oak Harbor High School on Friday, November 5th. This dynamic virtual conference for middle level and high school students and adults will feature incredible keynotes, workshops, and breakouts to help you rebuild your school culture. AWSL is a proud to welcome Christian Page, Esteban Guest, Work To Be Well, Kim Carr, and student presentations from Oak Harbor High School. The Fall Conference begins at 9 a.m. and will conclude at 2 p.m. Registration for the Fall Conference is now open at awsleaders.org. By now, you have hopefully seen the news. We have funds to support outdoor school experiences for your 5th and 6th grade students. There's money set aside for your school. Be sure to head over to outdoorschoolswa.org and follow the Schools and Educators button to confirm funds for your school's outdoor school experience. We have already allocated funds for over 2,500 students. The money is available now and into the spring and possibly fall of 2022, depending on signups. We can't wait to see students out there learning again in nature. Contest, contact us at outdoorschoolswa.org for more information or to talk through your school's program. The Professional Education Standards Board, PESB, is a state agency focusing on strengthening Washington's educator workforce to best support student success. They have reached out to our organization seeking valuable feedback on draft cultural competency, diversity, equity, and inclusion, CCDI education standards. These standards will serve as the guide to be used for training for all district staff and board members to better prepare them to engage with students and communities we serve. PESB has asked us to take their online survey, which will remain open until November 4th. Find that link in Principal Matters. Now, on a completely different note, is operating as your school's chief COVID officer wearing you down? We hear you. We have heard absolutely crazy and unbelievable stories about the lengths many of you are going to in response to contact tracing, quarantine, testing, and social distancing. On the flip side, we've also heard some very creative solutions where many assistant principals and principals are not being run into the ground by COVID protocols. In other words, there seems to be a huge disparity out there across districts and across the state in how schools are interpreting guidance from the Department of Health. If you find yourself on the barely keeping up side of the continuum, 
I'd suggest reaching out to us or your network to see how other schools and districts are responding to COVID. A reminder, DOH guidance is not a thou shalt, but rather a to the extent possible. Please reach out to me directly if DOH guidance in your county is continuing to, to disrupt student learning with ongoing ineffective absenteeism. And finally, I'd like to close with this. You are awesome and everyone knows it. I have conversations with leaders throughout the state who comment on the incredible burden placed on the shoulders of our principals and assistant principals. This has been a brutal start to the school year and you need to know that we are working tirelessly to engage our partners in creating some immediate relief and long-term sanity to what principaling has become. In the meantime, don't give up. Your kids and your community need you. You are the glue that keeps hope alive. Without you, then who? Well, on behalf of all of us here at AWSP, AWSL, and CISPIS, happy National Principals Month, and thank you for your ongoing amazing impact. And keep up the great work for kids. We'll see you next time. Doesn't mean we won't taking the foot off the gas and sharing the world with them. I can read it. We better pause it, though, because now I let it go by me. <laughs> Zenia just hit her head on the light. That's funny. Contact us at supportoutdoorschoolswa.org for more information. Talk to you soon. I don't know why I just said that because that wasn't even in the script. <laughs> Another. <laughs> Sorry, we better back that up again. <laughs> oh, Zenia hit her head on the light again, people. That's twice. Hope you're ready for the next episode. Hey.